What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create an accurate landscape or a topo surface in Revit. So whenever you're doing a project you can use the, the regular kind of topo surface in Revit but it's never accurate to the actual terrain you're working with. So now I'm just going to sh be showing you how to use the survey surveyors, surveyors, surveyors surveyor's plan <laughs> okay that's hard to pronounce surveyor's plan or dwg file that's done in autocad usually and then i'm going to be showing you how to uh, load that into revit and how to uh, recreate in revit using a topo surface but before we get started i would just like to ask you to like this tutorial it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already i suggest you subscribe because i make tutorials like this every day and follow me on social media i post there as well Anyway, here I am in Revit and I'm just going to minimize Revit for a second and here as you can see I've got this uh, Tobo uh, file. So this is basically what I've got from a surveyor uh, a few years ago when I was working on a project. So if I just open this file up, this is in AutoCAD and usually they, they do this in AutoCAD. I mean if, they, if you find a surveyor that does it in Revit that's amazing but usually it's going to look something like this. And depending on the country you're in, maybe something will be a bit different depending on the regulation, but you're going to get the point. You get some, something that looks like this. So you basically have got this contour lines that are determining basically the, 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 the same height of a the same height on some uh, warped surface like your topo surface and this does look like a 2d file, but if I hold uh, the shift key and kind of orbit around as you can see this isn't a 2D file, this is actually a 3D file. These lines aren't in 2D, they're in 3D and there is some line uh, here below this uh, this actual model. So what does this mean? Well basically this is kinda extended from the uh, zero, 0 level to the actual uh, height of the of the the earth or of the surface in real life and if that doesn't make any sense at the moment don't worry when we load it into Revit it will make a bit more sense but anyway let's just close this file off I just wanted to show you what uh, your basic surveyor uh, topo surface looks like now let's open Revit up and let's say we're doing a new project and we want to load this in so go to architectural template for this or or whatever template you prefer to use for your projects but anyway let's wait for a second come on Okay, anyway, so once you're in Revit, you can load it in and you should probably remember the, the dimensions of that uh, model. It's usually in meters in Europe, so if you're in Europe, it's probably going to be in meters. If you're in some other country or outside of U Europe, you better check which dimensions are used. But anyway, I'm just going to go here to Massing and Site. And uh, or before that, I need to go to insert and load this CAD file in. So I'm just going to go to import CAD, go to desktop and find this uh, Tobo surface, and just open it up, and wait for a second. And as you can see now, it's the wrong dimension. So where did I make a mistake? When you go and load this in, you should uh, you should go over here, select the Tobo file, and then for the uh, for the import units, make sure you check meters and just here, click open and now as you can see it's larger and it looks kinda correct to the scale of this uh, of these kinda elevation points over here but anyway how do you turn this into a topo surface well if we go into 3D as you can see here are our levels and this is where the topo surface is or the the CAD drawing is that's because this is elevated above the sea level and uh, this is at around 550 meters above sea level the this uh, this area that was surveyed for for my project so you need to bring it down to these uh, these kinda level points so what I like to do is I like to just select this and uh, maybe unpin it and then just for the base offset type in minus 550 or let's first change the units into meters so just type in UN change the units into meters hit apply OK and now select this go minus 550 that's 550 meters and now if we orbit we can see it's it's somewhere around these uh, elevation points and you can fine-tune it if you want uh, for this project where I'm just showing you how to turn this into a topo surface I'm not going to be changing that but basically that's how you bring this down or bring it up to your uh, level zero zero 
anyway so this is what we have and now we want to turn this into a topo surface so this is the, the, the this is what you, why you're actually here so you just go here to mask and site you go to topo surface and here you've got place point option and then you have create from import that basically means it's going to create it from a CAD file so you just hit that and then you go select import instance so you select this and then it gives you this little dialog and here uh, basically you're only going to select the the layers that are these contour lines so in my country we call them is a hipsa that's uh, what we call contour lines on our uh, topo surfaces so I'm just going to go check none and then I'm just going to check this uh, layer that it's these orange lines over here and just hit OK and as you can see here now we have a an accurate topo surface and as you can see these uh, points are actually placed on all of the orange lines and that's why this looks that way and anyway so you just hit finish and maybe we can okay go here maybe go to shaded and as you can see over here if we select this topo surface if we orbit around uh, we can actually see it it looks real good and if I go maybe into level one and create a section going through this kinda like this and yeah and then let's extend it a bit okay and let's open the section up and it's so uh, high because of the the CAD file so don't worry when you delete the CAD file it won't look like that but anyway so here and let's change the scale to something like 1 to 500 and here you can see this is the topo surface and the CAD file is usually just going to be annoying so you can just either delete it or just hit delete or uh, go to VG or visibility graphics and just turn off the imported categories and hit apply and now you can only see your topo surface and as you can see it's quite accurate it's exactly like it is on terrain so now you can accurately place your building on your topo surface Anyway, that's pretty much it for this accurate topo surface tutorial in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below. And for all of my Patreons on Patreon, uh, I will be uploading this CAD file so you can test this out yourself, as well as the, the finalized file with the topo surface. And if you want to get access to all of my project files so far, make sure to join my Patreon for only $5 a month you'll get access to over 130 pro Revit project files as well as some bonus tutorials. That's it for this tutorial and I'll see you tomorrow.